The idea of producing our own programs meant uh, viewing things in an entirely different way, a way we were not used to. We People have... like Yolanda, they're going away. All of a sudden, you look around, there won't be any old timers. They're really true pioneers. She was a lawyer, but she was also an operator. It's very early for women to be involved in the law or the cable business. I mean, she was general manager of a cable company before any other woman. The Barcos started their own cable system, Meadville Master Antenna. They live, breathe, and work cable. She really believed in the power of cable to educate people, to keep people connected to their government. But television was not available at that point to uh, learn and to be used as a medium. It's very idealistic and really wanted to do something good with, with this network. She, along with other leaders in the state, were able to utilize resources at Penn State University for educational programming. I think it might have been a thought a little ahead of its time, but it carried forward and it is today what it is, the Pennsylvania Cable Network. And she had this way of deciding what her mission was and being relentless in pursuing it. She knew what she was talking about. She knew where she wanted to go. She knew the direction of the industry. And she helped shape what we have today. She was a fighter. And some people found that off-putting. And it depends on what side of the table you're on. If you are an advocate, you got 110% of her support. But if you're her opponent, you better be ready for a battle. Because <laughs> she, she would fight, fight for her rights, fight for Cable's rights, right to the end. I think one of the things that was unique about her was her selflessness. I've never saw her do anything for herself, anything in her own personal interest. And they had a strong feeling about returning to the community, doing things good. I know I have a great responsibility to keep the network moving in the direction Yolanda set because it was the right direction. It was something that the state needed, that the cable industry benefits from, and it's doing the right thing.